Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see a video how we can create a process diagram or a cycle diagram. You can see my screen. Uh, it's a six step process. Step one, two, three, four, five, six with the message at the bottom. Let's see how we can uh, build this uh, diagram in PPT. So I'll go to a blank PPT. All right. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use here uh, PPT Smart Art. So go to insert, uh, go to smart art and go to cycle and choose this one basic cycle. Click on OK. So now you see here one, two, three, four, five, five uh, stage process. You can change this to a number what you want. So for that purpose, click on arrow. You see here text. Let's delete this text. I don't need it. So for that, just type something and delete. So that way it will be blank. And let me blank all these uh, circle and now I want to make it six step process for this demo so I'll do an enter and now I can see six that's it so now the basic skeleton is ready now I'm going to squeeze it uh, in the middle of the slide because I have to add a few more details here so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color so there are various colors available for this video i'm going to use this color all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh, some effect here so use any of this circle uh, do a right click you can see format shape go to effect and i'm gonna go to glow and choose any of these presets i'm going to use this one and now i'm going to add a color uh, let's say this one let's go here and do it quickly for all I'm going to use this one go here I'm going to use uh, this one here okay let's use uh, any of these go here right uh, okay let's use this okay so this is good now okay the blue one is left go here and choose this one okay now I'm good so now since we're talking about a process here I, I have to represent this with the icons uh, so I have copied a few icons here let's say I take this icon so I paste it here now if you double click of any picture or image uh, you will have various options available you can use in any of these uh, form and shape so I'm going to use this one uh, squeeze it put it here all right so let me copy the rest of the icons also and put them here these icons are uh, available on Google use the icons which are freely available and you can use the icon which is uh, relevant to the messaging of your presentation I am going to use these as a sample and okay this looks good Let's reduce the size a little bit okay now since we're talking about a process here I want to add one more icon here because uh, many times the process is more towards the collaboration so I have add this icon here at the center all right so if I do a slideshow uh, I have this uh, process diagram ready I am going to add uh, uh, messaging here let's move it a little bit towards the center uh, okay control A let's move it toward the center okay looks good now so I'm going to go insert uh, shape line I'm going to draw a line here and then if you see uh, in the format shape if you see this window that is good if not just do a right click you will see a format shape window it says a big and arrow type I'm going to choose this one I'm going to increase the size to this okay and I'm going to change the color to gray okay so now this is there I am gonna do a control C and control V and I am gonna rotate it so there's a option called rotate just do a flip horizontal okay now I have this here now what I'm going to do is I am going to add my message here so let's say I'm talking about stage one here so you I'm using a century gothic you can use anything which you like as a font here and then I'm going to add 
a message here so add your message here I'm going to squeeze the size to 14 okay now you can add your message here so now we have this uh, I'm gonna copy all these uh, right click group them okay now I'm gonna copy them control D and repeat them for every stage the only thing we need to change is a number I'll do it once I copied all of these okay now put it here okay all right now put it here and at the end let's put it here so let's say this is stage one then I can say this is stage two this is stage three or uh, you can say step or stage whatever you want to call it out I can say five and six if you want to make seven or eight or process you can change as many as you want as a step or stage so all set now what I'm gonna do a small change here is I'm gonna change the color of this stage one with this eyedropper I can choose the same color like this now you see the color change for every this thing I'm gonna change the color with eyedropper to the same as the color of this circle okay right uh, let's change this one eyedropper okay go here eyedropper choose this one go to stage 5 choose eyedropper okay stage 6 eyedropper all right so this is good now now what i'm going to do is uh, when you have this ready then what you need to do is at the end you have to conclude this slide though you're going to add what is stage one or relevant messaging here but it's always advisable that you conclude your slide so for that purpose you can add a rectangle at the bottom here and uh, say save save uh, no outline i want to choose this color and now let's move it a little up here now you can add your message here so let me add this add your message here okay so okay so i have added a couple of messages here now what i'm going to do is i am going to change the font essential gothic uh, 24 is okay and change the color to white now you can see uh, you can add your message here using hash it's always good to use hash and with hash you can put the strong and powerful keywords uh, which will send the right message to your audience and that way you can conclude your slide that what is the messaging you want to bring from this all right so this is good now one more thing I would like to do here is I would like to do center align okay so from this you can do center align now one more change I would like to do is go to insert save uh, rectangle and copy it here right go to shape outline no outline and I'm going to choose uh, this color now say send to back now you see everything that looks good except this uh, I in my one of the previous video I have uh, uh, showed uh, that how we can make uh, images transparent I'll quickly do it just double click go to color and set transparent color that's it now this is good the last uh, item pending is that put a name or title of the slide so I'm gonna do that process diagram uh century gothic increase the size take the font as blue one control b okay so now this is ready so this is your slide uh, let me do a slide so so you can see we have a process diagram showing multiple stages one two three four five six we can add relevant messages 
we can add a relevant icon uh, as per your presentation we can conclude the slide at the bottom and then we can change the background to make it more impressive now we can change the font and the color i have another slide where i have changed the color of the the cycle diagram so that we can do it so that's it uh, with this i will end this video uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel for more such videos thank you very much